Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Dreaming in Galaxy! And I'm Ollie at again to bring you your crafty stuff. Oh yeah. So, for today's video, just because it is, it's Harry's birthday, so gotta celebrate the Harry Potter world and amazingness. Majestic. So, for today's tutorial, I was like, you know what? Let's make a book. How are we making that book, Molly? Well, let me tell you. We're gonna take some polymer clay and we're making that book. So, for our materials today, we're going to be using some white polymer clay. I'll have all of the um, things that I use in descriptions below, so if you want to check those out later so you know what materials I use to make this, go right ahead and you can go get yourself some of these. I also have some black clay, some tan clay. The black and tan will be mixed together to make a nice brown color so we can have a nice like outer book cover. Um, I have some Sculpey Bacon Bond. Just helps if they're the put the different stuff together so it's not falling apart later because no one wants their charms falling apart. I have some gloss glaze. This will go on at the end. I have some old paint brushes because you don't want to be using nice ones for this sort of project. I have three different shades of some lovely chalk pastels. I don't know what colors these are. It's not, I just have just a cheapo sort of pastel set. So I don't have fancy ones, but those will definitely work. We're going to take some nice things here, some Q-tips. And um, I have this, the uh, clean up clay at the end of the project in case you have any little dust particles or anything. And you can use some nail polish remover to do that. I have a clay tool in case just need to make a little extra dots because I, I don't know if there's going to be any spots where I need to touch up some stuff. Who knows? And I have some little toothpicks because they work nice to just um, scratch off the chalk. So you have some powder. And for every project that I do with clay, I nicely have set up here, which you'll see in a few minutes. I like to take some lovely plastic wrap and I take the plastic wrap and I just take some like scotch tape or something, put down the edges and it works out great because you want that flat surface that is nice and smooth and you don't want to be getting dust particles or anything else on it. So it just helps. So you always have that nice clean surface. Even if you try to clean your surface on a regular basis. I don't actually have a true clay setup thing. So since I don't have that, I just use that lovely stuff there. So I can just put it down. Put down the lovely stuff here. And then... I got it good. I can just put my clay on and I'm ready to go. So let's start this project. Okay guys, so first I'm taking a white ball of clay and I'm just going to roll that out with my roller here. And I'll use a little cutting tool to make this into the pages of the book by making a little square. You can make a little rectangle, whatever shape book you desire I guess 
And I'm just going to take some nail polish remover with a Q-tip. And I'm just going to stick the Q-tip in that and I'm going to rub that over the book pages that we made to make them nice and smooth and get all of the dust particles or anything else that got on our nice white clay so it can be nice and pretty. Now I'll take our brownish grayish clay and roll that nicely out to be used as the book cover. Now you can take the book pages and we'll put some bacon bond on that so we can put the book pages in the book cover. Just make sure you get thoroughly rubbed all over the book pages and just press that down once you put that on. Now I'm just going to cut off the edges of the book cover so it can be nice and even all around the book pages. Now I'm taking some more of that bacon bond and I'm just going to rub it all over the rest of that book for the pages and then you can just be able to press the book cover down a little bit. But first we got to take an eye pen and fit that in between the book cover and the pages because that eye pen will be later used so you can hook a hook on that to make it into a charm and I'll just cut off all of the extra clay that's on the end there the little flap and there you go the book covers nicely on now I'm just gonna take my tool and I'm gonna make little pages in the book you can make them even or you can make them rough however you desire you can make them look rough and make that book look like a million people read it or you can make it look like a nice pretty new book now I'm just gonna take a little piece of metal and just go over the book to make it look like it has a little line on the end like how you would be turning the cover to open the book. Now I'm going to take a circular tool that's a little circular ball tip and just make little eyes out of that by pressing that into the clay. Now I'm taking some black clay and I'm just going to roll out a teeny tiny piece, look at that, into a mouth. You just roll that in your hands and shape into a mouth. And you can use tools to, once you put it on there to make sure it's nice and rounded so it looks like a happy little book. Now I'm going to take my chalk pastels, some yellow, then some dark brown, and then my reddish brownish color to end that. And I'll just put the yellow onto the book cover onto the book pages to make them look old and the brown on the book. Now guys, I'm going to take that tool I used earlier to poke in the eyes and I'm just going to dip down some black acrylic paint to put into those little eye holes because this will be the same size of those eye holes since I used this tool earlier. Now I'm just going to take a wet paper towel to wipe over that because it makes sure you get all of the extra paint. And there we have that book about done. Now it's time for some glaze and I'm just going to take that glaze I'm going to rub it all over the book. This makes a nice glossy finish for your book. So your book looks very lovely in the end.
Now I'm just going to take some pliers and I'm going to make sure I bend around that wire there that was stuck in, f well, the eye pin, you know. And make a little hook because then you can take a little metal jewelry hook to fit in there for a charm. I also made a little sea book. Look at that blue ocean. And a little old book with some pretty little flowers on it. Well guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you love making this cute little book charm today. I know I had a bunch of fun making it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter, on Snapchat, and on Behance. I Dreaming in Galaxy, if you want to find my accounts there to, f to follow. And I just hope you all have a wonderful day. And have fun making little book charms. Please send me your photos of them. You can DM me on Instagram. I'd love to see whatever you guys do. And by all means, go completely different from my video. I just was doing the basic on a book. I'd love to see you guys make some pretty crazy awesome books. And please just send me those photos. Bye!